Hot Team Rider, we're back here with Pikmin 4! We're headed to the Heroes Hideaway. I wanna go to the new map. I wanna go to the new map right now! We're doing it! We're doing it! We're doing it! Here, Rose, hide away! Here, Rose, hide away! Here, Rose, hide away! I wonder what hero is referred to here. Is it just, are we just saying because Olimar is there? I mean, at this point, I don't know that we know of him as much of a hero in this. And he's not exactly a, a hero in, in the other ones either. He's sympathetic, but he's not, like, saving the day. I mean, he's helping the Pikmin, which we like because they're cute, <laughs> but, and he's saving himself. In the second game, he's saving his job. <laughs> but who even cares? Forget it. Here's Hideaway. We're here now. This is where we were in the tutorial. This is where all the scary stuff is going down. We saw, we know, we know a bit of what the layout of this place is like already. There's that cannon beetle. Oh, no, that's not the one that we fought as, uh, 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 Ollie in the tutorial. I saw Moss sitting on a couch over there and everything. Oh my god, the oven's running and everything? What the hell is going on in this place? We were told there were 86 treasures, so there shouldn't be too much, uh, different, uh, from some of the other maps we've been to, but it looks huge. That was one of the armored cannon beetles from the first game, so I guess we have to throw a Pikmin into its blowhole like before. Well, let's get heckin' exploring here. Yes? Colin here. It looks like you're safely inside the structure. Based on your current location, we were right to conclude that Kakat and Olimar is in the area. I found a log associated with your exact coordinates. Oh, delightful. Unknown area. I'm so close to fully repairing the SS Dolphin. The remaining parts should be somewhere inside this giant structure that I've never seen before. It's as if the rules of logic I've come to understand may not apply here. We'll have to explore carefully now. What do you mean, the rules you've come to understand may not apply here? Oh. And we've got one more piece of surprising news. The spaceship we found at the rescue command post is Captain Olimar's. Ooh. After analyzing its flight logs, we can confirm it came from Hokitate. Which means we can now track down Captain Olimar by scent. Before you set out, I had Ochi memorize any smells associated with the ship so we might be able to find its castaways. So find Captain Olimar, Ochi. We're counting on you, Lee. Castaways? So you think there might have been people with Olimar? I mean, I know he's called Captain, but... Anyway. Let's just bring 40 of you. Um, we'll bring you, and then uh, they suggest bringing... Uh, Yellow Pikmin, and I don't suppose I see any water here, except maybe the kitchen sink. Uh, would I be able to tell from here? Yeah, okay. So, so there's the only water appears to be the kitchen sink, so I won't worry about bringing Blue Pikmin for the time being. I could have sworn... I, hang on, I can use my survey drone. Oh, the music here is really nice. It's got that lovely little, like, accordion... Almost sounding like that French cafe music that, uh, that Pikmin 3 has a lot of. And it's really lovely. There was a lot of that in Nintendo, uh, Nintendo's sort of Wii U era games. They liked this very sort of um, passive but like pleasant sounding uh, music. They had a lot of it. Wow, this place is going to be complex. Oh, there's a thing that we fought as Olimar. The tutorial. Is that a custom robo or a transformer? Ooh. Oh, there's an ice pikmin onion here. About bloody time. Uh, at least I imagine that that's what that is. Unless it's just frozen flour. Like, oh my god, <laughs> there's a cave in the stove burner. And some tomatoes in the kitchen. Oh, this is so cute. Hang on, I want to find that couch, because that was where we- I, we actually- I genuinely- I feel like I saw a moss just hanging out there. Whoa. There's a safe here. Oh, that's nice. They're not just doing by color. They also have symbols there in case you're, uh, colorblind. Although I suppose if you were color- if you had any kind of colorblindness, this game would be hard. Anyway. Oh no, they've got other defining features. They've got, like, mouths and noses and stuff. So, I guess they're- you would- you would be able to tell the people apart even then. There's a Game Boy Advance game there! But the couch. Where was the couch? It was green. Where did it go? I- I can't really- aim oh, here it is. Well, there's moss, but no sign of Ollie. We can sniff for him, but since we want 100% this place anyway, I say we just get going with it. Oh, look at the pink pigment hickling into um, Oji's back. That's so cute. Um, and we do have a side quest for it, so I suppose we may as well go around uh, dunking on monsters as we see them here. This card wasn't stuck here before, was it? And it's stuck here in with a, a dart as well. Wait, huh? Oh, right. Ramming and stuff. <laughs> I forgot again. I can't believe that. Slash, it doesn't appear to work. Hang on. Do I just gonna get it the right angle, or do I need to have the pink pigment pulled out? Oh, there we go. I want to see the pink pigment carry this flag for this card. That looks so cool. Whoa, look at it! That's so dope! Oh, awesome. Sorry, carry on, you bunch. Oh, right, I really gotta be uh, putting a bit of a move on here. Now, the, the complex and uh, tiered nature of this place gives me the sense that it'll be sort of tricky to navigate. There's a hole here that goes to here, but it doesn't have Ochi's face on it, so I guess that's a tunnel that we can get back up through ourselves. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what that is. Perfect, so we have no uh, qualms about hopping down here, then. There's Moss, all right. Is Moss gonna be like trying to kill us during this area? Look over there. It's that dog that was running around with that leafling. It looks like it's all alone at the moment. I'll check and see what the voyage log says about it. 
Moss the guard dog. Moss has been guarding the outside of the bunker for me while I rest. She's been also gathering up Pikmin, though it's unclear where she's finding them. Either way, I feel so lucky to have Moss by my side and all this. Oh no. So if this dog is the Moss mentioned in the log, then that leafling must be... Right, but perhaps more troublingly, Moss is going to be coming after us. Oh my god. Should we should we be taking Moss out? I guess Moss doesn't have... Uh, can't get totally wrecked. Oh my god, can Moss wreck our, our things? Uh, sorry, Moss. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to shatter you at glass! <laughs> okay, no. Uh, everyone get off. If I knock Moss out, do they come to their senses? Or can I, you know, fight them in some way that does not get us all murdered? Oh my god. Charge. Moss is running away. Oh, I feel so bad! Well, wait, if they're gonna run, let them, I suppose. They're going somewhere to heal, I guess, but as, as long as they're not bothering us. These monsters are gonna bother us, though. Really, the worry will be about Moss uh, taking on Pikmin who are carrying stuff while I'm not there and able to deal with it. But hopefully I scared uh, her off enough that she won't come around and attack us anytime soon. Again. Just dunk on a whole bunch of the monsters here. This actually acts this uh, quicker charge time. Did it uh, lower the cooldown as well? I'm not sure. Whatever the case, um, I feel like the charge is becoming more useful since we got the upgrade for it, so happy about that. I mean, obviously it would be more useful after the upgrade, but I mean, I'm noticing the usefulness quite a bit. Um, very good, there's a whole bunch of treasure and I'm just, I'm, I'm barely seeing any of it because I'm just rocking through here. Oh, that's part of the, the robot again. Um, we better find a base down here so we can stop having to carry things up there because we can only do that with Pink Pitman, really. Um, so I'll leave that there for now. There's gotta be one down on this level somewhere, right? Oh my god, calcified crush blast? Is that what these things are from Pikmin uh, 3? And they throw these rocks at you that only the rock Pikmin can break. Uh, I'm just gonna have Ochi deal with it, actually. Uh, uh, just, I'm leaving all you with Lee and then just have Ochi bite these things to bits. Nom 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 nom! Uh, nom 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 What's all the smashing and fighting happening? Why are, what's with all the fighting noises? It sounded like it, but how could that be any of ours? Are there, is there a monster at our base? Huh, I'm so confused. That's into like a, a, an ice pick movie, or a, a flying one, I'm not sure. All right, some Amprats here. Um, let's, I'm gonna rush this one right from the front. You don't have to know what hit it. Oh my God, it electrified really fast. Okay, that's fine. Uh, this one's uh, starting some electric charge stuff. I'm gonna have Bochi just fight it uh, himself like before. He can probably manage that. Okay, it's probably a little slower this way, but it is working. Yeah! Take him down, Ochi! Take him down! Don't you bite me! Okay, cool. Uh, let's put our base here and we can actually start bringing treasures in. This is base uh, location number three, apparently. That's interesting. Uh, so we'll bring that uh, material in. And let's start getting some of the treasure as well. Obviously, it would be nice to be getting into a cave somewhere around the end of this day, um, so that we can maximize our time. There's gotta be something on top of this uh, case here, right? Because they made us whistle pick me from it in the tutorial. I've got yellow Pikmin here, which will- Oh, right, it's just this thing hanging here. Um, oh, I can ram it off. Sure. I didn't forget again, I promise. Uh, one, two. And I'll have a bunch of yellow Pikmin charge this thing, I think. Da -da -da. Uh, I said da -da -da, please. Thank you. Give that robot arm. Uh, there's apparently something going on here. This is one of those, uh, platforms, but I don't know where else it lands. I guess up here somehow. And this appears to be you need the, a bridge from here to do that. How does that all work? Uh, where would- how would we get up there in the first place? Oh, no, it's a climbing wall. Uh, very good. We shall send all, all our ice equipment out to, the, to, to build that. I am really running low on materials, though. I probably shouldn't have bought quite so much gear. What? That sounds like Moss! Again, where is Moss? Attacking our base or something? Oh my god. Moss, please, chill. Can Moss actually kill them or just disrupt them? Oh, I guess I should, that means I should take Moss out this time. Oh, Moss has uh, possessed them. It's taking the Pikmin. I don't know what that dog intends to do with them, but we need to get them back. Right. Sorry, everyone, uh, for, for this is an emergency. We all need to form up in the same squad. I guess we'll have to take you out if you're gonna be a problem like this. Sorry, Moss. I wouldn't do it if I didn't think I had to. All right, everyone off. It's about to shake. Slam. Sorry about this dog thing. What? How did that throw me back? <laughs> I can outrun you, Moss. <laughs> this can end in one of two ways, pal. <laughs> Oh, I should really be throwing them out because the Pikmin can't catch up on foot. Oh, it's leading me through monster territory and everything. Oh my god, what is this other thing? It's leading me through all kinds of other monster territory. This is all so bad. 
How can we not catch up with this thing? Wait, why why is this doing no damage? Okay, because it's only vulnerable on the back. Okay, well this is turning into a mess. Okay, we knocked out Moss. Uh, oh, the Moss is just gonna keep coming back though. We can't even bring it back in or anything. Oh, that's really unfortunate. I just wasted a whole bunch of Pikmin making sure that we could take them out for that very purpose. Oh my god, I knocked the, their golden like shield off. Is this like a nugget we can retrieve? What what is this? So much mystery in this new world already. Well, I guess that's just so they can't get it back if uh, they were still alive. Well, this is a new monster altogether. Like a, an armored slug. So weird. Oh, at least we're taking out some monsters and getting some progress here. Okay, so that's if... Oh my god, this one has a bomb. Go away! Oh, you can smash those too. Oh, gee, I did not realize. Uh, I'm just going to charge my weapon on you uh, now that you don't have a weapon. It should be easier. Okay, sorry. Now let's let's focus up again. Um, I don't know where all my uh, loose Pikmin are. I'm gonna have uh, Ochi just go and gather them because I've I've made a total mess of this. I I thought once we took them out, maybe they wouldn't regen, but uh, or she rather. Um, that's not how it works. So if we forget it. We're just gonna have to be really careful and uh, get dunked on a whole bunch, I guess. I guess it does take uh, her some time to uh, to uh, to regen though. So now that we've taken her out, she we're probably good for like an, the, the a quarter of the day or so. Uh, okay, treasure, 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 treasure. Um, Ochi, uh, that's probably enough gathering of Pikmin and such. Where'd you go? Oh, he's off somewhere. Okay. Well, um, when we get him back, we'll use him to smash these uh, smash these vases because there are treasures within. Oh man, this is a much more difficult place to navigate so far than any ones we've encountered thus far. I'm making very very little progress this day one. Have we actually even been near any cave entrances yet? They're all high up, so no. Oh, at least I can see Ma uh, Moss on the radar. That's useful. Oh, wow, it smashed the, the the thing they were holding. Some more materials. Let's do this. Yes. If we had more rock equipment, I would feel more comfortable. Um. Oh wow, did we really lose? That many of Wayne Pikmin, or did just uh, oh, she's gathering them now. I'm not sure. Hello. Speak of the devil. Uh, now this is a platform that will bring us up to where those Pikmin were playing in the tutorial, and there's the treasures in here, most likely, and a wedding ring too. Oh, this goes even farther here. Whoops. Uh, let's just have all the pink Pikmin carry that back, so they don't bring it a silly way. Oh, it's so fun watching Pik uh, Pik Pik Pikmin fly things back. It looks so cool. All right, awesome. Let's ride this to the top where it goes. And I suppose I'll have uh, Ochi gather more Pikmin again. Once we're at the top. I wish I could tell how much uh, health Moss had at a glance, but I don't appear to be able to. At a glance on the map, I mean. Yay! Well, there's a pellet up there. Oh my god, new monsters are plenty. What is this, like, elephant chameleon thing? Slam! It's dead is what it is. <laughs> Sorry, thing. That seems like a good target. Thanks for the heads uh, up, uh, Colin. I had figured out somewhat that myself. I'm gonna send these uh, five yellow pigmen digging this tunnel. I guess it goes down here. That'll be a helpful shortcut back up. I don't know if we can carry treasure through those though. Some pellets just lying out here. I guess that was all Omar's doing. Oh, perfect that we only have ice cream for this because it's an icy one. Slam! Now it's a, a dead one. Sorry for all the murder. And uh, right now that we have Ocho, we can uh, deal with some of these vases. We'll probably have something useful in them. But probably also... Oh, wow, five buttons. Probably also I uh, could have Ochi... Um, I'm going to send Ochi down. Uh, hopefully I don't need his jumping abilities anytime soon. Because there were some vases with treasures in it way back at base here. Why is he not allowed to go here, here? Oh, Ochi, just run off the edge, please. Uh, you can handle it. <laughs> You're a big dog. There's no fall damage. Wee! Okay. Sing back for the vases. I'll just do what I can with these last few Pikmin here. What? I'm dead. I could have sworn I took you out. Unless they were a different one. I guess you must be. Pounch! I'm gonna rocket punch you! Or not. Ah, uh, oh, damn, there are more vases here already. Uh, I, I could, really could have had him smash those first. Um, uh, how much do we need to freeze this? Fifteen. So some of you can freeze that. Uh, Ochi, see what's in this thing. Oh, there's a tunnel here. Uh, oh, it's a monster. Eh, it has treasure in it, we know this. Just bite it, it's shield off, and then bite it. Wow, this thing is really not uh, resistant to Ochi's attacks at all. Well done. Uh, and then I guess start digging this tunnel out here. I could have sworn they said there was a star right here. It's not in this, is it? They would have said, right? Anyway, uh, start digging that out, I guess, uh, and we'll just carry on here uh, with the ones that are not froze, slash, never mind, uh, because <laughs> it doesn't let us out the other side. There's no cutting board there with which, uh, to do that. So I guess I'm headed back to base. Um, is there a cave anywhere up here? Um, there is one on the stovetop burner. We already know that. So if we get Ochi to smash this and then uh, hit this button, whatever it does. Oh, wait, can I throw a Pikmin up to that so I don't have to bring Ochi for that? Maybe. Uh, hit the button. What does that do? It drains this sink. Oh, that's actually quite convenient. Um, 
I don't know if we are, uh, would have that would have been helpful to have that uh, undrained. No, probably not, because we were going to make this pathway back up anyway. Um, very good. Let's just return these, these monsters. Oh, there's uh, I can see monsters health bar through walls and stuff. Good. So I know they're only like halfway. Oh, this tunnel got finished. Um, so perhaps we should make another base. Is there another one on the floor around here? Survey drone, help me. Wow, this is a huge map. Or a, like a very huge and complex map. Oh, there are a bunch of uh, flea things all over this. I say we get that map open. The, the purpose of that will be twofold. Not only will we be able to... Um, obviously, uh, root there, but, uh, we'll be able to have all three of the night expeditions available to this place immediately. So I say we, uh, swarm this place. Actually, this might not be a bad idea of a time for some kind of weapon. Ah, uh, but we can probably manage it with just one-shotting everyone. Just, uh, just sort of target. Oh my god, oh my god, it was a bad idea. Was, okay, I take it back. It was a horrible, horrible idea. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Uh, no, I need to save them. Uh, lightning strike! Ba -ba -ba bam Oh, do I have to... Oh, oh, I can't do it while they're uh, uh, on me. Okay, well, the one time that would have been useful and I didn't make any good use of it. Well, that was a bloodbath. I can just take it down with one if I'm careful about it, though. Like so. And I can get my whole base back here. Ow! Let go! You're so mean! Why do I have so little health? Oh, right, because I don't natural regen like Pochi does. So all the uh, damage I've been taking in all the fights so far has been culminating. It's fortunate, then, that... Wow, the auto-target's really not cooperating. Just, just par target the one I'm near to, thank you. <laughs> Fortunate then that I have so much health and I got all the upgrades and everything. Slam, just like two more here. There's you and uh, you. I'm wasting a lot of time here, but we're almost got this base uncovered, so. Oh, thank goodness. And Ochi, I suppose it's time for you to gather up some Pikmin and return them to me. Um, I'll, I'll use these ones for now, but. Oh, right, we lost a lot of Pikmin during that, so I'm just going to bring out a whole bunch of more ice Pikmin. So that it's not trying to. Oh, we haven't lost any Pikmin yet. Good. Doesn't look like Olimar made this base? Oh, interesting. What what makes you say that? Do you think Olimar made all the other ones? Look at all these uh, uh, flea things that are not blocking us as we're carrying on here. But I have uh, all my 80 Pikmin notes that we don't actually wait, have to wait for them to fall. Alright, well that was disastrous, but we've got three bases now. We don't know if that's all that's here, but it's uh, probably not horribly far off. Oh my god, there were Pikmin carrying treasures that are now going through enemy territory to do it. I better build this bridge thing. Uh, oh no, the, that, right, that golden thing there is marked as an enemy, which is sort of silly. Um, I'll have the pink Pikmin start building this because otherwise it will be very difficult for them to fly. Are, what, are you kidding me? <laughs> the pink Pikmin can't fly back to base to get the resources? Well, that's, I can't imagine why, but Fine. We'll be. We'll play by your rules, game. That seems like a massive oversight and a bit silly, but but it's fine, I guess. <laughs> Looks like we won't be getting into a cave this day then, because that well, that, that's a massive setback that I have to bring this down now and do all this. The moss is probably not far from being back up. Okay, she does take a very long time to resurrect, so taking her down is absolutely worth it, because it also doesn't kill her. So morally, we're okay to do it, <laughs> even though it feels kind of bad. All right, I'm low in health, so I gotta keep myself out of trouble uh, these next few. Fights. This bridge will be built in a minute. Um, do I have a tunnel here that will help? Did Oshi find like a treasure in this tunnel or something? Oh no, that, let, that lets us out up here. Well then, fine. I'll, I'll uh, head up here while well, they're building that bridge and all. Some nice resources we're gathering as well here. Oh then, no, that was one we were losing. I, I suppose I wasn't paying attention to which way the number was going. We still have a fair amount, so we, we gathered some uh, other ones from elsewhere anyway. Um, uh, can I throw yellow pigment up this high? No, then how did one, how would one, if one were so inclined, get up there? I guess from this thing here. Right, well. This tunnel is just about as good as, uh, useless then. Right, it's headed to sunset. You'd think we'd somehow be more safe here because we're all, uh, we're like inside and stuff. So we'd be able to see monsters coming pretty easily, but I suppose not. They're about to build that, uh, pathway up there. Which is lovely. But we're still waiting for one or two, I guess, are we? Major candy series complete since we got the love nugget. Sweet. I can actually jump my way up here uh, with the, with the amount we have now, though. No, I'm not. It disables my jumping when I'm here, just to be mean. Fine. <laughs> I'll wait for these two to be done with this before Ochi can hop up there. If you insist, game. Build 20 structures complete. Side missions. Yay. Uh, that, is anyone, any Pikmin in danger here? No, it doesn't seem so. Ah, oh, and we have to... Ah, oh, this isn't enough. I still have to also push this down. Can I really not throw any Pikmin up there to do that? Even the pink Pikmin... But we've been up there already. <laughs> I have to really walk all the way around there just to instruct them to... Oh, game's in a silly, goofy mood. Well, whatever, let's uh, just ram down this grading thing over here that we've seen. There are 30 Pikmin idle, but I suppose they're back at base. Wasn't our most disastrous uh, first uh, encounter with an area, but certainly not our most uh, productive. I have no idea what this is indicating at all. Like a rope bridge or something? 
Let's see about smashing that over before our time ends. We can knock this over as Olimar did in the past. And what actually is this thing here? Or is that representing showing something above us? I have no idea what that's about. Oh, there's a calculator here. Ooh, some spicy spray. Let's. Oh, there's a little tiny rope bridge there. I just see. So just in case you didn't have Ochi anymore, you can still get out. Ah, oh, right, I see. Well, that was a slightly disappointing first uh, venture into this area. But it probably could have gone worse. We did learn a heck of a lot, so. Oh, that shadow I saw last time was probably the SS Beagle. Anywho, um, I could probably do the night expeditions, all three of them now, but um, oh, you know, you know, they really do stress me out. So I think I would like to get them done early. I'm sort of torn because I really want to carry on with that map, especially now that after that first display, which was not really how I preferred that to go. But we did. I mean, we basically uncovered the whole map, I suppose. So I shouldn't. I shouldn't scoff at that. That is progress of a sort. It's just not. Doesn't fill up the hundred percent bar is all. Look at all the people we've rescued that are here. Say hello to us. No rescues today. Not much treasure. We're up to six percent. Yeah, I had 1286 treasures. I suppose that's not that bad. And we lost 14 Pikmin in that massive chase with Moss uh, in the middle, around the middle there, which was. A disaster, but there you go. I'd like to build up a large stock of medicine, so get back out there and explore tonight, new blood. Hold on now. Creatures are more active at night. We certainly don't want our Lee to suffer any injuries. <laughs> oh, don't you fret. What am I here for if not to heal those who put themselves needlessly at risk? I suppose he has a point. Just please be careful, Lee. I'll do my best. I like Colin and uh, Yanni's relationship. It's really funny. Well, they're certainly like hyping this up to be a... Uh, I, I mean, I imagine it's not the last area because there couldn't possibly be all the rest of the st collectibles and stuff here, but it feels like we are about to finish like a lot of uh, our side quests that we had done and all and gather a lot more treasure in the logbook, like fill out a lot more of the sets uh, with this area. A lot of progress we've made, but I think I will do the night expeditions now just in, the, in favor of getting them out of the way. Because I imagine they're going to be kind of scary here with the, the way this place is shaped. The Dazzle series, Unbreakable Promise. A hoop uh, chopped by a stone made of the hardest substance in the universe. A perfect gift to make when, uh, give me when making an unbreakable promise. Though I am told this stone can, in fact, be broken. Perhaps then it's meant as a reminder that no promise is truly unbreakable. God damn, man. That's so sad. I prefer your former interpretation. Peacemaker combo bot. If the right arm is all about valor and victory, then the left arm is about love and peace. You could say that while one hand throws a punch, the other reaches out for a handshake. The symmetry is important. It keeps the whole body, nay, the whole universe, in balance. Love nugget. Which I only just realized is why this thing is called, the cherry tomatoes are called crush nuggets. I don't know what it is about this fruit, vegetable, whatever it is, but take one bite and your heart is sure to heat up. I know mine does. Is it love at first bite, or am I just imagining things? Shooting star shield. To be a great warrior, one must be able to withstand not just one attack, but attack after attack. This small but powerful shield is designed to protect its owner from an onslaught of blows that land like a shower of shooting stars. Endurance is strength. Wisdom Emblem! Same series as the Gold Nugget. Interesting. The Collection Obsession series. I feel certain the shape seen here represents wisdom. Just look at its arching symmetry. It's el it is elegant, but not ostentatious. Complex, but not overly ornate. It brings to mind scholars with noses and books and scientists working towards conclusions. I suppose I see how you think that. Although I'm not sure why I see. And a few new and scary monsters here. Oh man, Moss is going to be handing us this whole map. That's going to be really scary. Scutter Chuck! Oh, listen, they're not the Calcified Crush Bot. That's a different thing. That's a much bigger thing. Hero Dick... Kadarit Crystal Awesome, he evil family. Watching it move around on the very tips of its uh, tippy toes is like watching a ballet. If you offer to be a dance partner for this spiky, little spiky toad sweetie, it will leap high in the sky. I bet this agile creature will have no trouble sticking the landing. Gildamend Wee, Salamandra Falsarum, Juvenile. Are we going to have to fight a big monster version of this later? That'll be scary. Amphibland family. With one little gold-colored stone in its back, it toddles about, lantern flicking, uh, flickering cheerfully. It doesn't intentionally deceive Pikmin or our sensors. They just respond to that gold-colored stone. Oh, okay, so that's they, they show up as a treasure on our map, and that's what we're seeing. Only the adults tend to be intentionally deceptive in this world or any other. Miniature Snoot Whacker! Miniature Snoot Whacker! Masperala Melona, ad adolescent Snoot Whack family. The way it catches its food, pro uh, protects its belly and gets up while working with the weight of its sizable trunk, are all taught by its diligent parents. Instead of hen and foot, they attend the, to their offspring nose and foot. Offspring. Did they saw offspring? Uh, they prepare the child for the day it will leave the nest and eventually become a parent itself. Inspiring. Stunning. Show-stopping. Outstanding. Which onion pigment do we have the fewest of at the moment? Yellow. I lost a whole bunch <laughs> yesterday. Ooh, I've got a quest to turn in over here. This is for, uh, what again? Uh, structures, right? 
For all the things you built, please, you gotta take this. I want you to know how much I appreciate it. Well, thank you. Make no. Intriguing fact, when you use raw material, you get more raw material. It's the true perpetual motion building machine. <laughs> build all structures, 20 of, hmm. Oh, okay, that's just the next quest, is build all the things, right. Wow, it doesn't even tell us how many there are. Hello, children. Do you like my dog? Wait for this develop to be brought in, and then it's time for a night expedition. Um, wow, this one yellow Pikmin is strong enough to push Ochi, Lee, and the other 74 yellow Pikmin out of the way while carrying a pellet. Impressive. Right, let's get these night expeditions over with. You've got three uh, to select from here, starting with two, then three, then a Dondori four. I sense this area is a buzz of danger. Be careful they don't get you out there. I'll, I'll do my best to not be got. But they only let me bring gold in anyway, so it's not like they'll bring- they'll have me fight enemies that you need other types to take down anyway, right? I hope. Well, the door level four! I say we're ready. I mean, hopefully we're ready. Break a smoky prog's nectar egg to prevent it from hatching. Well, what a way to tell me that smoky prog's in this game- game? Goddamn! You're not telling me we're gonna fight one now, are you? Uh, uh, whoa. oh I'm not looking forward to that. Glow Pikmin are immune to the elements, but not to, like, being disintegrated by Eldritch magic. And is that an icy ball borb? Gosh, heck it, man. This place suddenly became the scariest place imaginable. Here we come through the window again. At least it appears that are just, just the one, uh, thing to guard here. Is that correct? But to find out. If so, I'm probably just gonna leave Ochi here. Oh, this is the one way down in the corner here. I see. Yeah, there's only one uh, Luminol then. Okay, I thought I thought we were up um up over here. I forgot which one three was. Okay, well we don't have really enough uh, shortcuts to where this will be easy to take down all the monsters. But uh, I'm not gonna. It's not gonna stop me from trying. It's weird that we don't see many uh, off the bat here. They're only these bunch. Oh, we don't even have the map for over here, of course. Hopefully they wouldn't make me go as far as here because that would be uh that would be hard to do. How's it we got there before? Oh, with this platform, right? Oh my god, this is gonna be really scary, isn't it? I'm assuming these little ones are a bunch of those flea things that are that fuel my nightmares. Probably want a flashbang to deal with them, to be honest. But I think I'm gonna stock up a lot on glow pigment for the moment. Oh, we got a trickle right here. We can activate another one over uh, down that way as well. I won't do that just yet. Oh, these vases are back. That's weird. Please tell me that their monsters are not spawned in here. Uh, maybe not. I heard some monsters uh, just waking up and coming after us now. Oh, there's a monster up here, is there? What is it? Oh, it's gone now, whatever it is. I won't be putting any mines there, and I won't activate the other trick null until this one breaks, because I want them. I want it to be easy to know where they're being lured at any one time. Uh, what are you? Uh, Shear Grubs. That should be, uh, you can be one-shotted if I land right on you. That's not so bad. I should really should be on Ochi for this. Some big monsters over here. Let's uh, let's take them out now before they're chasing us with the flashbang. I'll just start with uh, the one I think. And now with your uh, extra massive chomp, this should be easier. Oh, we're gonna be able to get it before it. Oh no, there's the smoky prog. Oh my god, where is that? That's close by, isn't it? Nightmares, nightmares. Is it only out at night? It looks a little sillier in this game. <laughs> As creatures go, that's sure a strange one, isn't it? There's eyes. I think it might be coming for the Luminol. <laughs> yes, maybe we should uh, deal with this quickly and then go take out the Smoky Frog, shall we? Let's do that. I mean, if it can be stunned like the other ones, then it won't be all that bad. Oh my god, it's right near all the Shear Grubs, too. This is bad. Uh, let's try and uh, focus on the Shear Grubs, then, so that we're not dealing with them and the Smoky Frog at the same time. If it's like Pikmin 1, it can be dealt with like any other monster, but let's just hope it can be flashbanged. Okay, let's just mash the next button a whole bunch to target all of them like this. I can't believe that worked uh, as well as it did. Yes, I will work with Ochi on a solid defense. Smoky Prog! Avast, you! Uh... Oh, it actually won't be that bad. It just gets... it shakes off the stone really quickly. Right? It's gonna roar and try and freak them all out, but I'm gonna get them away from that. Okay, this won't actually be that bad then. Um, there are Pikmin approaching our Trichnol. Is that... is that one just ignoring the Trichnol? Why is it allowed to do that? Okay, well, um... I guess we have to go deal with... Uh, actually, I'm gonna send Ochi to do that. Oh, no, no, no! Send that, damn it! That's not what I meant to do. It's gonna take a bit of damage, but I think Ochi will be able to get there and take them out before long. Yes, I get it. It's being attacked, but it'll it'll just last there long enough for Ochi to uh, bring it down so I can uh, focus on fighting this thing. Oh, I'll punch you down too. Oh my god, I hit the disintegrating part of it. That wasn't good. Okay, this thing uh, shakes off the 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 uh, the flashbang pretty quickly, but it's fine. Is that another one over there? No, it's an icy bulb. Okay. 
coming out of an egg. It's it, it's not coming out of an egg. It's been long since out of an egg. Okay, with, with Ochi, we'd be able to do more damage here, but we can still do good damage before it shakes us off. It's actually much... Uh, since we have the flashbang, it's a lot easier to deal with this thing in this game. Uh, hi, Ice Bulb Orb. Um, I'm ignoring you for half a second here. Oh, it's noticed us. Well, that's not great. Uh, I'm going after the Smoky Frog first, though. Hey, look, a new creature. <laughs> um, right, okay. Ah, some ice equipment got, uh, oak equipment got wrecked from that. But I'll have a chance to go, uh, flashbang this one in a minute. We are really running low on, uh, resources, though. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna wanna get that. Oh, I thought I had the charge lo lo done up. That was dumb for me to do. Sorry. Ochi, guard that thing. I know you can handle it. You've got lots of health and defense. I'll be there in a minute to help. He has gotten himself into a tussle. You're absolutely right. That's uh, precisely what he's done. Uh, he's actually handling it pretty well, to be honest. Because he's so tanky. Um... And they're all, like, focused on him. Uh, I'm gonna flashbang this anyway, though. Just help him out so he doesn't get uh, too brutalized here. Okay, we need to get some uh, more glow palette stats. So you bunch carry that in. Uh, Ochi, better stay around here, because I'm gonna let a bunch more through the ranks, I'm sure. There's a huge pile of glow uh, things here. Come on, where are the... Oh, we've only got 22. There's a big one there. Um, how many more monsters is that? Just these two? We can handle it. I mean, the flashbang is pretty OP. This, the smoky proc didn't really stand a chance. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have I'm gonna not get Ochi totally murdered by you. That would be bad. Thankfully, you have your big stupid attack. Um, I can uh, group up your back here and uh, the flashbang will do. If, if you can see this one coming, it's it barely it can barely uh, resist you at all. All right, we did lose a lot of ice pigment to some silly stuff there. Uh, glow pigment, sorry. Oh, there's another smoky frog. Hey, well that could be an issue. Uh, <laughs> probably does a lot of damage to the. Uh, the Luminol, but uh, we have a lot of more Pikmin this time, and Ochi with us, so we can do uh, more damage before he gets a chance to shake us off. That was about a, I don't know, a little over a quarter anyway. Let's keep whistling. Don't get scared by it. It's just a big old scream. Oh, man. It's weird that it's got a mouth in this game. It is pretty weird, but I think it is. I think it was a little scary in the first game, especially the way they didn't uh, make it all dramatic and everything. Oh, come on. Don't let me uh, fail to get the 100% just because this silly thing has too much health. Don't, don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Okay, we're almost there. Just need one more glow charge on it, and we'll get it even with the timer. I'm sure of it. No, just don't hold back. Everyone fight. Let it with all you've got. Just charge, charge, charge. Come on, we can get it. Yes! Does that count? Please tell me that counts. If that doesn't count, I'll be so upset. <laughs> Thanks, Oyani. Was that our first try that we got that? If so, heck yeah. But that certainly did start to get tense all of a sudden here. We haven't actually failed any of these uh, properly, but I've been doing some restarts then and there and then, so... I guess you could count that as a fail state of sorts. If it tells me that I was missing one monster because I that one died after the timer, I'll, I'll be very disappointed. It seemed like it waited long enough. Man, I'll be happy not to have to deal with any more of those soon enough. They are they do have a lot of health in this game, much like Pikmin 1. But the, the, the hit, their hitbox is a little nicer. They don't disintegrate you quite as easily. I like how since we're in, it's the early morning, none of the other people are up. Oh, they're, okay, thank goodness. They're gonna be nice and call out 100%. I appreciate that game. You could have been a real jerk there and you weren't, and that, that means a lot to me. Whew, well, at least the other ones are gonna be easier. Oi. Welcome back from your night expedition. Nabil. At last, I can make the medicine. And it's all thanks to Newblood here. Oh. Well done. Hey, I'll make the medicine. You focus on recovering the leaflings. <laughs> I will do. Not before I do these two more other night expeditions. <laughs> but new monsters we found here. Ice ball orbs and the smoky proc. It's just kind of just kind of showed up. What a nightmare. I'm glad they elevated this thing to like proper enemy status and it's not just like a secret boss though. That's cool of it. And I'm very, very lucky I had upgraded Ochi's uh all of Ochi's stuff because he does get murdered in a fight much harder than I because he doesn't try to dodge at all. The AI doesn't, I mean. Frosty Ball Orb, Oculus Stamal, Stamal, Stamagellus, Scrub Dog Family, a creature that thrives in the coldest climates. The ice, its ice-coated haunches shimmer like a living jewel in the frigid air. You can admire the way it sparkles to your heart's content, but don't get too close. You'll get frosty frozen on the spot if you touch it. Unless you have our super upgrades, of course. Oh, Moss is added as an entry, too. Fulcanus Amicaris, who knows family. Ocean Moss are two peas in a pod. It's quite impressive that a space dog should meet such a similar creature on a far-off unknown planet. You could even call it miraculous. Could they be siblings separated at birth? No, that's just not possible. It seems unlikely. They're differently shaped and such. They seem to be different breeds of dog, but... 
Smoky Prog, Magovum Vaporis, unknown family. In the night above ground or the dark passages below, you'll suddenly notice an egg. If you leave the egg alone, a being of terror is born out of it. A mysterious fiend dragging itself along. But I feel like this misunderstood deer may be trying to communicate with us. Perhaps its tail is a sad one. Kill it with fire! No, you may be right about that. It is a newly hatched creature after all. It's probably very, very confused about all the stuff that's going on. Uh, Night Expedition Part 2. Let's do this. The leaflings are just... Wow. The more I examine them, the more fascinating they become. Well, let's keep the priority on healing them. Oh, yes. <laughs> Feasting center. <laughs> this place is giving me the chills. Something exciting must be waiting here for you. <laughs> I guess that's a uh, warning there will be ice monsters here. Nothing we can't handle. The glow Pikmin are hardy as anything. And this one's one Dundori level below, so... I mean, we've, we've seen before that sometimes I disagree with their danger rating of it, but... It might be that there are not so many smoky Brogs this time. Maybe they'll just be one, you know? <laughs> I figured if they brought the water wraith back, they had to bring back the smoky frog at some point. I wasn't expecting it to just sort of shadow drop in a, in the middle of a, a night expedition, but there you go. Once again, only one luminol? They're making it too easy. It is way, way easier to protect when you've only got the one. Oh, can we do this shortcut tonight? That would be really nice to have this done in the morning. Or for the morning, rather. I should have had Moss do that, uh, Ochi do that and then get the pellets with the rest of them. That would have been more efficient, but too late. I have Oshi just <laughs> fight this thing by himself. He natural regens. He'll get some good damage out on it. Is it a bigger one than the ones we were fighting before? I hope not. I have to monitor his health to make sure he doesn't get himself too dunked. Nah, he's got good defense. He's handling this. Hey, he's taking it down. He'll bring it down. Good boy, Ochi. I know he's been hurt. He's handling it. Don't worry. He's a good dog. He, he can manage it. I know this seems unethical, but it's it's efficient. It's done dirty. Okay? It doesn't have to be ethical. <laughs> oh, he is getting, he's getting hurt pretty badly. I'm concerned about Ochi's HP. Me too, actually. Oh, he's got it. He's taking it down. Cool. Um, I will have him uh, uh, just hang out back at base, though, to heal up for a bit, because there won't be any monsters heading his way any anytime soon. And we've almost got enough uh, to do some good flashbangs on these critters. Let's just do flashbang them one at a time, shall we? Features are starting to perk up, it says. Uh, which, which ones are actually coming towards us? One's from way down here, so they'll be taking another time. I imagine they have to be flying critters, because how else would they get out here if we hadn't done the uh, shortcuts, but... Never mind that now. We could activate a trick null here, but it's not. There aren't many monsters down there to where I think that would be useful. It's better to activate this one, probably. Um, which I'll do on my way over here while I'm also gathering these things and doing flashbangs and such. Oh, there's a smoky prog there. Oh, we should smash that egg now if we have the if we can. Uh, a brutal thought though it may be. Uh, let's see how much health it has. If my memory serves, it basically just has the same amount of health as the the hash thing does. So it won't it won't. Uh, but also, um, if you smash it before it actually hatches, uh, or if you get some damage on it before it actually hatches, then that damage carries over to when it actually is hatched. There's a lot of scary noises going. I guess that means monsters are back over here. What kind of monsters? Oh my, big ones. Okay, some flying, but some not. Um, Ochi can handle this with a, a rush, though. Sorry, I've asked a lot of you at the moment, Ochi, but it's only because I know you can handle it. Okay, uh, back to me, and I'll ask. I'll just recommand him to... Guard that while he, he re regens. He's regening at a likable pace, I would say. I'm just gonna get a few more Pikmin here so that are uh, we can we can uh, take down some bigger monsters here without it be, without it being a necessity that we use the glow because we're not gonna have the opportunity 100% here. By which I mean they're gonna be fighting some multiple monsters at once and it might make it tricky if we have to roll out on the glow. So I'd rather not. You're gonna charge us. I'm gonna get around behind you. Charge you now. Music's getting real scary. Who's got himself into tussle? Did he? What's going on over here? Oh, these things. And this thing. Oh my god, many things. Sorry, Ochi, I'm really- you're doing all the heavy lifting here. Oh my god! Oh, I thought it bit all of those ones. Nuno's under attack, it's fine. We got it handled. Ochi can do it. Oh my god. I feel so bad for Ochi. I've really <laughs> put him through the ringer, this one. There's another one coming over here, too. I've been- I've been as good as useless to, to him here. I feel so bad. I've got him hurt so much here. At least he tanked that for the hit. Oh, no, Hickman got it. Uh, right, over to me. I'm near a bunch of these monsters. Oh my god! Wait, something's attacking the Luminol? Really? Hang on, let's just get this, rid of this first. I could, I didn't see, notice anything there a moment ago. Oh, it's just more of these little things. Can handle that. Back to me now. I'll intercept this one that's attacking the Triknol. Man. Is, this one isn't actually terribly, like, they're, they're not getting horribly, horribly difficult, but they're get, they get really hectic around this point. Is that all? <laughs> Probably finished it so early because I got Ochi, like, brutalized by all of them early on. Sorry, Ochi. You know what? We're not going to use all the scrummy bones in the game. I'm going to give you a scrummy bone when we get back to base this today because I just feel so bad. Harvest successful. 
what I like to hear. They haven't had us do any uh, two luminol ones in this place. I'm feeling incredibly thankful. We had a lot of glow paint by the end of that one, so we got tons of seeds. Pardon? You're really getting the hang of the whole night expedition thing, aren't you? With this glow sap, I can concoct a medicine that's sure to cure the leaflings. Oh. You did it! Way to go! Now all you gotta do is rescue the leaflings. Ah, uh, no pressure though, Lee. Bruna. Yes, the medicine doesn't expire, so there's no need to rush. <laughs> oh, there was a new side quest I could've looked at there. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Day 27, we're almost a month. Almost a month on this planet, that's so wild. You'd be getting used to it at this point. OG, I'm so sorry for what I put you through last night. That was really, really unfair of me. I don't imagine we're gonna use all these bones before the game is out, so here you go. Good boy, good boy. Uh, right, I was just telling us about this new, uh, building quest here. Rescue journal. Uh, tips and tricks. Um, snack cash. When your rescue pup is in retreat, approach your pal and throw, uh, throw them a bone. Sure. This has got to be the smoky prog, his, his, uh, new entry we got here. Base mystery. I keep coming across ruins of some sort. Rings made of stones. I've, uh, been using them as a base to land on, and the more I think about it, they seem to be designed exactly for that purpose. Could it be a coincidence? I'd like to know who made them in the first place. Ah, this is why Colin said, Looks like Olimar didn't make them. Strange Pikmin behavior. When I arrived at this area, the act Pikmin started acting quite strange. They flew out of the onion and immediately hid. I can't find my spaceship parts without them. I suppose I'll just have to keep looking uh, for them and call them back using my whistle. Right, this is the entry we wrote at the beginning of the game. Very, very cool. Still needing more yellow pitmen than the other ones. Oh, they don't they do the little thing when you're holding them anymore. Like they're like they, do, they used to go like, do this like like they were charging to be thrown into battle, which is because they were. And they don't do it anymore. That's a shame. I guess someone thought it was annoying or something. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Marvelous! Uh, Russ, sorry, not, you're not who I meant to, talk, to speak to. Yanni, where are you? Where'd you go? I've mixed up you two highborn sciencey folks. Last night expedition to this place, and that way next episode we'll be able to rocket into the rest of this place with, uh, no regrets. Stargazer spot. Should be even easier. We have, to, actually, we can even be able, we'll be able to protect it much more easily by just kind of hanging around this one top spot, because it's just this one little platform. Like, no, very few monsters except for flying ones will be able to make, make it up to us, so. Should be pretty easy to defend. Where's this button? Was this always here? I don't remember this fan thing being here. Oh no, this is in the middle. Oh, it spawns us here, but the wait. Oh, but the luminol is also here. Oh, okay, so the it's, this one actually doesn't correspond to the base location very strongly. You haven't even been here in the during the day. Very strange. Um, even still, I suppose we could probably protect. Oh no, there are two luminols. Oh, this is gonna be really difficult and weird, isn't it? Okay, Ochi. Um, probably only the only monsters that'll be able to get here are small flying ones. So, you protect this, and I'll head on down to protect the orange one. Oh, this looks like it's going to be difficult and weird and complex. Uh, let's just get a head start on getting some uh, Gloam in here and taking out some of these smaller monsters. I mean, if you only gave it 210 already, then probably there aren't going to be too many big monsters about. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's bring them all down where we find them. What are they? They are, uh... Oh, these, these, uh, ball warrior ones. Whoa! Oh, the Jasmites can fly, I see. They're, oh, they're, no, they're not quite Jasmites. They're for flying versions of the Jasmites. But I think so. I think they are new. We haven't seen those in this file yet, or in this game. I mean, uh, remember that we learned that dunking on you with the one shot is the probably the best way for it. Gonna go after you with the flash bang. Bang! Wow, that went a lot farther than I was thinking, but at least it put you on the ground, so we can all rush you pretty easily like so. And the same with this other thing. We have a uh, a, a trick null. You, uh, we can use this decoy before our orange one, so that will help us there. It, but they don't always just go to the the, the trick null. If they if they have a clear path, clearer path to the um, the actual one, they will go there too. They just go to whichever one they see. Cool. Um, I'll ask you to get all those then. Do I have to throw you all up to them? That's a shame. Oh, please, just let, let me throw you. Okay. It didn't. They only threw seven for some reason. That's fine. I guess because they were all a bunch already kind of. Active. Oh my god, I gotta get my hightail myself over to uh, the uh, orange white uh, luminol. It's about to be really uh, messed up. It's fine, they're small monsters. They won't be doing much damage to it. There's a big flying just my thing over there, though. I'm just gonna leave Ochi up there because if there's a, a luminol up there, uh, that means there are probably gonna be monsters after it at some point. Right, we did take like, this thing take a lot of damage, but it can sustain that. It's fine. And there aren't too many more monsters in this whole place anyway, so I'm not too worried. I'm gonna go after this before I go for the, oops, uh, the flashbang here. Those two can handle it. Wow, they actually really can handle it. That was awesome. <laughs> not there. I, I mean, in what universe was that what I was trying to do? Targeting, please. All right, I guess we have to... Uh, I'll have to wait. 
gotta do this now. How far are these all missing? Goodness me. This game, every time I think I've got it under control, this game just starts trying to throw me into a blind panic. Ow! I got stabbed. It's fine. Tendori issue. <laughs> all right, this one's finally decided to be active and is actually charging us. I can probably even uh, weigh it down by just throwing a whole bunch like this. Yeah, that's probably easier. Waiting for the flashbang, since we've got uh, pretty decent forces here. Bunch of the easily one-shottable enemies here in a row here, so... I won't worry uh, if us too much, but I just throw it like mad. Did we lose a few in that? I think we might have done. Our right, you bunch are uh, getting pretty close. These things, these things move a lot faster than I'm expecting, these uh, sheer sheer rigs. Don't worry, we're handling it. It's all good, Yanni, all good. Um, oh, there are a whole bunch more uh, bubble wars here. So actually, it doesn't look like many of them will be able to get to this blue luminol, so I think that's maybe just a red herring to throw you off. Not to worry anyway, we can just uh, head to these ones next. They're probably going to activate in like a very short amount of time. We can take a few out before even then, though. It takes uh, two really two landing on their direct back to take them out, because the first hit does like two-thirds of their health. We have enough forces to take out the rest of the monsters here, so I won't worry about it. And it's just this monster left by the look of it. Although it's on a mission, it's going real fast. That should be it taken out, though, before even the sunset timer is ready. Yep, there goes the music. Okay. Aside from the charge just going the complete wrong direction, <laughs> I like how there's a big massive arrow on the ground too to show where you're targeting and they'll still just go the other way. <laughs> Cause the, the flashbang much like, it, it basically works the same way on the same uh, it, uh, mechanics as the charge where it like picks a target to go after and that can sort of be to sometimes frustrating effect. But we're fine, so. I shouldn't really be complaining as we have gotten there in the end. All the night expeditions on this place are done, and we'll be able to rock it into the uh, surface exploration furthermore in uh, in this area next episode. I wonder if Moss will chase us into caves. I hope not. <laughs> Back, everyone. Hi. We got all the monsters. We didn't die too much. And we got two uh, the, the cures out of that. I wonder if there are as many cures as leaflings. Like, if that means we're going to have seven leaflings more, at least. Welcome back from your night expedition. Oh, uh, this is the same d d discussion we had before, is it not? I believe it is. Which makes that all for this episode. So, thank you very much for coming around to this episode of Pikmin 4. Ah, that morning corn is music to my ears. I guess it's just music, anyway. Music can be music to your ears. That's that's a fine thing for it to be. This video on the channel is going to be a weird one. I'm not going to tell you what it is in case I don't actually end up making it because uh, I haven't looked at the files yet to see if it worked. But if it, if it worked, it's going to be a weird video. That'll be kind of fun and silly. Otherwise, that's all for now. Thank you so very much for coming around to this episode of Pikmin 4. I'm glad we finally got into that new area. And we'll be uh, rocketing through it even more next time. Everyone's going to be out of here now. Peace! Oh yeah, the heard it was prosecuting despite being in prison. I guess we just, just thought it was 